Or should I not? Will you cut it in right? It's already in. You want me to cut it out? No, I want to keep it in. All right, well, you're good. <laughs> Even you busted your old ass. Shut up. <laughs> okay, anyway, power your dreams. So let's see how you get this stuff powered. Holy shit, this is heavy. Oh, I mean, holy crap, this is heavy. Hi, and welcome to the Steph and Manny channel. Um, so we did a little something. You guys know how we got a PS5. Well, I can't say we. He got a PS5. Um, but I still play it. But anyway, uh, I ended up having, you know, money saved up because I wanted a PS5 as well. But I ended up saying, hey, I found an Xbox for 650 bucks. It's only $100 over. Eh, why not? So I did it off Facebook Marketplace. Remember when you buy stuff like that, stay safe. Yeah, definitely. I don't say to go out and just do it. And if you do do it, make sure that you are, you have protection. <laughs> <laughs> no, Be in sure a well-lit environment <laughs> where... Well lit environment, like we went to sheets, there was cameras, I took screenshots of his profile, I took, you know, screenshots of our conversation, and of course I had Manny and the kids with me, so if anything happened, I had back up. But anyway, this is it, this is the box, it's as big as my chest, that doesn't mean I have a small chest, <laughs> it's like, and then of course this is the back. A limited edition baby. And it comes with a baby, yeah, <laughs> you can't have him though. The box is bigger than the baby. <laughs> um, but we're going to do an unboxing anyway. All right, let's get to it. So here's the box. Again, I'll show you. This is the best part of the whole box because this is like the best game in the whole entire world, according to me. I don't care what anybody else thinks besides Gears of War. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. Comes with... Tamper seals. Tamper seals that are relatively easy and do not rip the box. Which is good because I keep my boxes because, you know, if you ever have to move or store something or relocate a room or refinish a room or whatever you're going to do to a room, it's nice to be able to put your system somewhere protected while you're doing that. And no better place than the box that it came in. Amen. Because then you know where all your cords are at and all your little doohickeys and you have styrofoam and everything to keep it all safe and yada, yada, yada. It says, power your dreams. I don't know if that's possible. Because my dreams are perverted. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to remove everything out of the box and then put the box on the floor. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is pretty heavy for all anybody wants to know. It's probably like a good 20 pounds, maybe. Which one do you think is heavier? Uh... I want to say maybe this one just because of the overall shape. It's more between the PS5 and this. Um, this is more, of course, like refrigerator cubed. So I think in the long run, it's heavier because everything's kind of compact. And then the PlayStation being just so big and then it's got these pretty like little um, flaps and everything. I think it might weigh just a tad bit less. But overall, both systems this year are really super heavy compared to like the last models, like, like the regular Xbox, the PS4. Those were pretty pretty standard weight not too much but anyway comes with a getting started manual for all those people who don't know how to insert batteries or that there's an xbox app it also tells you where your storage expansion is where your hdmi cable goes where your power goes your ethernet and your usb okay and then there is a, another box which is just this box right here and it's stuck in there so now that i have everything out let me put it all on display on the couch this on the floor so that we can lay everything out and properly go through our thing. Since you guys seen the dummy card, I'm gonna put it back in the box. All right, so first and foremost, we're going to do, I guess, the box. Why not, right? Little flap opens it up, little compartment. Of course, it's got the Xbox remote and batteries. Um, the remote is standard. Except, well, it's not, it's not heavy like the PlayStation one. There's nothing really different about it except for, well, no, they even had grips on the old ones except for this. I want to say overall, it's just basic. Nothing like the PS5. I'm really in love with the PS5 remote, especially if you play with it. It's just amazing. 
Okay, so we got we have like four or five of these packs because we don't like using batteries. Um, we're gonna test to see if it works. And it fits. Um, yep, yeah, it fits everything. So if you guys use the the rechargeable batteries like we have, um, whether they're name brand or not, doesn't matter. They're all the same basic shape and size unless you get the ones like I have for the other ones that you just sit on the thing and it has the two, I can't explain it, but they're different. But it'll come with an extra back piece that should be equivalently to fit on this. Because if this fits, that should fit. Anyway, on to bigger and better things. Okay, so the next are the cords. We have the HDMI and this one comes with the ultra high speed. And it also states it in here, it says, Ultra certified cable, HDMI ultra high speed, and it's got the little QR code and then a stamp and whatnot on the inside of the box. Um, and then of course, your basic and everyday power cable, which also comes with a QR code. The only thing I think they changed that it doesn't come with a brick. Yes, that's it. This is, well, I don't know. Does it yeah, it doesn't come with a brick. I don't think brick. it does. Yeah, I think you're right. Then you have your basic everyday manual. Microsoft, I think that's it sure that might be it because there's no yep. well just in case let me be nosy yeah that's it if you open up the other end there's nothing in there because you know sometimes how you don't open stuff up and then you throw it away and then you're like frick and then you gotta dig in some trash and then you know you're all grossed out yeah i've done that all right so on we're done with that let me get that there now on to this all right so on, let's unflap it Oh, it's taped. You don't want to rip this. Want me to get your knife? Nope. I'm going to be very slow. Yes, I'm sorry if I'm irritating you guys. Like I said, OCD with things. Especially things that cost a lot of money. $1.50. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more freaking tape. It's like a Christmas time. I'm unwrapping a present for myself. You know what? I'm stay on there. I'm getting impatient with myself. All right, and here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so you guys seen the power button, the sync button, the USB, the disc. You turn it around, and it comes with its own stand. I don't know if it comes off. No. No. Um. The great big fan, it has some green in it for decoration. The exhaust comes out the top. Um, and here's the back. Actually, I should turn it around for you so you can get it. This is your storage expansion port. Of course, you can see they're all labeled HDMI, um, some more USB, and then your Ethernet and your power. But that's pretty much basic. Every you know. Something that's different with our old one is uh, ours had a HDMI out, in and out. This one just has an oh, out. Just has an out. Yep. A little bit of a different. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I really don't have much else to say, but thank you for watching me open up my new Xbox that I just got today. Um. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if it took long me unwrapping things or me talking too much. Just try to explain to you guys so that for those who want to make a decision for PS5 or Xbox. Um, I've talked to other Xbox people. Some people had issues, some people don't. So I guess it's just the luck of the draw. If I do have issues with this, I will be complaining and you will hear my video and I will explain to you what happened and I will give you a follow along as of if Microsoft ever helps, which I highly doubt that they will. Um, but as of right now for either or system, I like them both, but I just like the overall PS5 because they've done so much more with the remotes and the overall speed with loading time when it comes to like playing games you're right there and we're talking seconds like we you have to wait for people to load um when i power this on and, and clean off a spot for it and have it set up and i try it out we'll definitely give you guys another up to date on what it's capable of doing and i would like to do a comparison of ps5 versus the xbox because i do believe when it boils down PS5's won the remote and the quickness, 
Xbox gives you a basic remote with a little upgrade. And then you have this. And the one thing I do like about this is the expansion port for the memory. Because I'm kind of tired of always having to buy... Um, external hard drives. Yeah, the external hard drives. Because we've bought so many. Because <coughs> so many have crashed or been corrupted and messed up our data. And hopefully that'll that'll solve the issue. I don't know. I'm still going to use my my hard drive though. And that's on our unboxing video for the Xbox Series X. Hope you enjoyed it. Unlike, unfollow, unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> um, and enjoy our future giveaways. And you Yasha, my new sweater suit. Yay! And my hair, I did. Yay! Yay! Have a good one. Bye. Say bye. Okay, bye.